Hi, this video will show you how to find criminal justice materials using OneSearch, the library's federated search box, which searches all of our library databases at once. So while criminal justice periodicals is excellent to use for criminal justice classes, if you want some eBooks or print books, academic videos, uh, it's easiest to go to OneSearch. So I recommend searching both when you're looking up criminal justice materials. So to get to the library homepage, you can just Google SC4 library. There we go. And there's also a one search box on the criminal justice library research guide. Here, um, my topic, it will be racial profiling and the constitution. Remember, I use the AND Boolean operator so that I gather both terms in my results. Find it. And we found over 1,300 results because it's searching all the library databases um, that we have over 200. If you wanted to narrow to peer reviewed, because maybe your instructor said, I want you to have some peer reviewed articles on the topic, you can check that box. If you wanted to date restrict, you can use this little scroll bar or the um, links here. So I'm just going to say the last five years. And now I've really narrowed it down. We still have over 300, but a lot less than we had. And note, because we're searching all of the databases, like the first ones out of a law review, Stanford Law Review, uh, we have Journal of Political Philosophy, Islamophobia Studies Journal, Religion, a Religion Journal. So they're pulling from all different disciplines. Um, and these, you know, your instructor may have told you to limit to criminal justice periodicals, or in that way, uh, it might be best to go to criminal justice periodicals to narrow it down that way. But sometimes if you're doing a longer paper, you want to gather information from all different disciplines on the topic. So I'm just going to look at the first one here. If I click on the title, it comes up with uh, the full text in an HTML format. You can listen to the article if you like. You can download the PDF of the article because it's quite a long article and it would cost a lot of money to print it even if you were printing at home. So you can download the PDF and save it to whatever device you have. Related items down here are related to the topic. So if you think this was a really good paper on your topic, I would always check the related items because there might be some additional ones that you wanna use. Just beware that the related items may not have the limiters on them that we had. Like, so they may not be from peer-reviewed publications, for example. You have to cite your sources. Click on cite. This will come up with the APA version first. I'm choosing the APA 7th edition. You can click three times on it, copy it, and paste it to your Works Cited or References page. It opens this up as a separate tab. So I can go back to my list here. If the database does not show you how to cite, you can also gather the citation right from OneSearch. So we could click here, choose APA 7th edition format, and it will come up with the APA format preview. All right, I'm going to clear my filters. And let's say I just want some books on the topic. I can narrow it down to books or ebooks. We have 20 of them on this topic. If it's an ebook, the link to the full text will be available right under full text online. If it's a print book, like this third one down, it will give you the call number for the book. And that's the number you need to write down to find the book on the shelf. Most criminal justice materials will be in the HV section of the library. So you can always come into the HV section and browse the shelf that way. I'm gonna pick this fourth one down, uh, Ferguson Report. 
click on it. And I chose this because it goes to a slightly different interface. Uh, this is an EBSCO host database. So the interface looks different than those other ProQuest databases we were using, um, but it still provides the same information. So there's a description of what's covered in the book. In the right-hand column, it tells you how to cite the book, a permanent link to the title that would get you into the title from on or off campus. You can download our eBooks to whatever device you have, and usually it will stay on your device for about three weeks and then it disappears. Usually though, you just wanna browse a title or read a specific chapter because uh, in college level work, Sometimes your instructor doesn't expect you to read the entire book unless that's what they have told you to do. But often you might just use a chapter or two from the book. So I'm gonna scroll down the table of contents here. This section looks interesting, Ferguson's Police Practices. So I go right to that section. This is, was, talks a little bit about the police practices in, in Ferguson, Missouri. Again, from here, you can cite it. If you want, you can save pages or email specific pages to yourself. And here is a permanent link. That link would get you back into this section of the book. So this permanent link would lead you directly to this section. And it would, you could use that permanent link on or off campus. And go back to my results. So it's OneSearch provides a lot of resources on your topic. Not all will necessarily be in the field of criminal justice, but they'll be related to your topic in one way or another. Thank you.